Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. At least you I've settled with unnecessary feelings. I love you. <laughs> and I you. <laughs> oh god, this is turning into some weird fan fiction! Oh god, the yaoi! The yaoi! And now back to yelling at people! Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. When we last left off, I save Hugh Jackman, I think, right? That was the last one. It's, it's been a while. It's been quite a while since I've actually played this. I had sort of, I've been sort of addicted to Zero Escape, and I, I was neglecting my Phoenix Wright. Um, yes, I saved Hugh Jackman uh, from Evil Bitch Tits, the, the Cruella de Vil, That's who it was. Yes, and uh, and I saved Christmas. As well. <laughs> In the end, I ended up saving Christmas. <laughs> but that's had nothing to do with Christmas. That's beside the point. Fucking, I saved Christmas. Shut up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, speaking of which, uh, Merry Christmas. I know it's a little late uh, <laughs> to be saying this is the day after and all, but um, hope you all had a really great Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever whatever you celebrate. I hope you had a good day. Um, uh, sorry for not posting in a while. I mean, obviously there's the holidays, but also uh, I, I actually got a uh, new microphone um, that I... Uh, for Christmas, and I, I really was... I really wanted to use, um, but I can't get it to work. You know, so I, I don't know. I, I'm a little bummed. I I really want to, I really want to uh, try it out and make new videos because uh, you know this microphone I use now is it's a headset mic and it's it's actually I mean it's quite good but it's you know I I really wanted to try to get an upgrade in quality here but uh, I guess I'll have to save it for another time. I don't know. I if I end up or if I end up sending it back, I'll probably just get something else. But anyway, go ahead and start chapter four. Yeah, that's right, chapter four. Episode four, turn back the bars. It's been, what, f 15 years? Uh, about that, yes, I have no idea who's talking. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You suffered? I'm assuming I'm a girl, maybe. And now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge! <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh! Oh, damn it! <laughs> that was too fucking appropriate, wasn't it? No! What?! That's right. M Merry Christmas, you filthy, you filthy whore. <laughs> That's not how the line goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? I don't believe it. W well, this is the most <laughs> accurate video of the year. <laughs> it's December 25th and 10:08. I'm getting crunked at my law office. Hey, hey, Nick! You forgot to turn your volume down again! Damn it, you're right! Ugh, okay, I'm good. Do you, do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? <laughs> Don't go chasing waterfalls! Waterfalls, dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need wall photos stand, stand there, pre preferably a freezing one. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that part of your spirit medium training? No, I just like to get naked and do that. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, do you mind transforming into Mia and before you do that, though? <laughs> okay! <laughs> of course, since I've been slacking off lately, I need to bring the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know about any falls per se, but Gordon Lake is pretty close. <laughs> oh, Gurg, we're not. What's that? Why is she showing that expression? Oh, God! Gordon Lake! <laughs> oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the brakes. You just take a cold shower or something. Mm. Good idea! <laughs> oh my god, you're brilliant! <laughs> so much for the rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gordon Lake. <laughs> wow, really? Really fucking TV? Jesus. That's right, I can see you, Phoenix Wright, standing there, <laughs> looking all smug. I heard your conversation and decided I was gonna mention Gord Lake too. So na 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 boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. Town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy and tip and tip of the hat to the Nessie of the Loch Ness monster. 
who has murdered <laughs> thousands. Though its namesake, Nessie, it proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Uh, 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 oh, it's my yawn. Boring. Is this show real news for a change? Nick? Huh? Why was she just kind of low in that shower? You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? Oh, j ka ching Yeah, go. Go, go, witty Phoenix. Good idea, Nick. Apparently, apparently SP is no end in detecting sarcasm. <laughs> we, we announced this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue on Gord Lake, but this time it's murder! <laughs> Gord Lake again? Body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. Also, Shane was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed. Are, wait, are you serious? I thought that, I thought that was like a flashback of. I don't know. I was. I, I thought that was suggesting like something about Edgeworth's past or whatever. What? Did I, did Miles Edgeworth just kill a bitch? That's a suspect's name is I, Miles Edgeworth. Are you kidding me? What? Andrew Andrew is an up and coming prosecution attorney known for his skill and connections. Now he's a now he's a pompous windbag who's will enjoy the rest of his life getting his ass handed him in jail. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Find out next time. Edgeworth! What? What's going on? <laughs> the mice come back it's like <laughs> Phoenix, I'm back from the I'm back from the fire department, and I think they blew off <laughs> they blew off one of my arms. I think I need to go to the hospital. Edgeworth would never do something like Or would he? Nick? <laughs> ah, Maya! Fireman yelled at me when I called it. <laughs> you really? Oh my goodness! Oh, you're so. Oh, you're so funny. I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> oh my, you're the funniest little goober. We got bigger things to worry about than that. I think I'm going to jail. <laughs> they arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder! <laughs> uh, okay, so who cares? <laughs> Fuck that guy! Wah, bleh! <laughs> what? Where? Boom! Why? How? To what extent? I don't know! <laughs> Let's go vote out, Nick! First off, how did the fire department thing go? Uh, nah, man, damn it, I'm seven. Wait, oh, wait, before we do that, I know what thing, I know what we need to do. Behold! You know, I think it's, I think it's developing a nice luster. My Corona badge. Mmm. It's nice, so blazed and delicious. Oh, look at your badge later, Nick. We got work to do. I suppose you're right. Or, or are you? No, you're not. <laughs> look at it again. Stop showing me. Please, I don't want to see it anymore. Just leave me alone. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. I've been waiting for this moment. You know, Nick, we've been, here, we've been here one time or another, haven't we? <laughs> I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure I still think we should mention it to too many people. <laughs> yeah. Like applying for other jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking great. It's you two. Son of a bitch. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I don't want to come here. <laughs> I don't want any visitors. Well, at least you let me keep my neck scarf. Oh, man. Don't I look like a... <laughs> the other other prisoners are like, well, look at the we we got here. This dainty little flower. Mm, I'm gonna smack that ass later. Oh dear, this uh, this is not gonna end bad. This is not gonna end well for me, is it? I better. <laughs> I'm gonna need to keep my butt cheeks closed for a few days. Uh, what? Oh, he did actually leave. <laughs> hey, Edgeworth, no, come back. I thought he, like, you just like it's like. I fade into existence, and then I disappear. I'm a ghost. Ghost Edgeworth! Come back! <laughs> okay, I fade back. What are you doing? Doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, yeah. Well, he is in attention, and he's Edgeworth. <laughs> My arch nemesis. <laughs> I know that! <laughs> were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh, laugh. Okay. <laughs> well, why aren't you laughing? I am laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Justice is fucking served, bitch. Uh, oh, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to come and fart in your face. Ugh. Oh, yeah. And then just run, run out of the room. Woo! <laughs> Who's the number one in journey now, bitch? Ah! Nick, she will be laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's a trick. Laughing, don't get mad. Or bursting into tears. <laughs> bursting into tears? <laughs> wow. Why are you so mean to me? Mwahaha. <laughs> Edgeworth, my arch nemesis. <laughs> Do you have to say that every time? <laughs> we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. <laughs> Yes, you do. You have no clients, and nothing to do with your free time. <laughs> Actually, he's right. <laughs> In that case, ha ha. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me like this. Damn it all. Damn it all to hell! My good looks are gonna get me freaking destroyed in here. Not like this. <laughs> hey, I, don't wanna s I didn't want- I didn't want to- I didn't want to see you either, believe me. <laughs> Sucks to be Edgeworth. What happened? Edgeworth, stop! Tell me what happened. I murdered the fuck out of somebody. Why should I? What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're gonna help you! That's what! Huh? Uh. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, sorry. You're a novice. You're only, you've only been in three trials, for freaking God's sakes. Yeah, but they're bananas trials. And I beat your ass. <laughs> Twice now, right? Come on. Hey! Sure you got lucky and went all three. Well, your luck's bound to run out someday. <laughs> you need real skill, right? Experience. Hey, I've got like, what, like four more games after this, alright? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be good when this is all done, alright? Nick, he's insulting you! Nick, go get him! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> I'm a always one who's gonna get angry! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why do I keep sounding more and more like Slimy every- <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Emerging Emer Emer Police Accord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The Lake is a long way away from your offices and the court. Why are you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you, you didn't really. Gordy. Huh? <laughs> I want to see Gordy. The Loch Ness Monster, he's my only friend. <laughs> and we are lovers. <laughs> Is that what he's talking about? Gordy, what's that? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you later. Oh, Edgeworth, talk to us. Because I don't like you very much. Maybe you haven't noticed, but you've beaten me twice now, and that kind of pisses me off. And you also got my neck scarf all dirty from spitting on me during the last trial. I cannot allow that. I cannot allow- I know it will make you happy. BEHOLD! Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Ha! Ha ha! Go on, right? But I'm not that hard up, not yet. For, for, for Christ's sake, I am freaking Edgeworth, baby. <laughs> I've got loads of money, probably. At least enough money to buy me a nice neck scarf. What do you mean by that? Wow, wow did I actually progress this? Did I actually need to do that? <laughs> no fucking way that <laughs> my corner patch did something. Me, trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt. Never. Never! <laughs> what? Puffy face! My case is near hopeless, right? Why, because I fucking did it. <laughs> Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? <laughs> Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie doodle, my bad. <laughs> I think we can put all this behind us though, right? Fuck you, Edgeworth! <laughs> Thanks to you, oh my god. <laughs> All my clients spent the rest of their lives in jail, and none of them did any of the crimes they did. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I said, my bad. You know, but wander under the bridge, right? We're still best buddies. <laughs> Fuck you. You sent me a turt. You, you put a, you shit in a bag and put it outside my house and lit on fire. You know, yeah. Wow, you're really bringing that up, really? Oh, God. Just like you to hold a grudge, Jim. Fuck you, Edward. No, fuck you, Jim. We're gonna find somebody else who's way better. Somebody way more awesome. Wow. 
I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Ah. Fine. Fuck you. It w Oh. Hey, look at another thing. Did that actually... It actually did pro progress it. Yes! <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Then I probably would never have thought of that otherwise. Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it right, right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Uh, stay out of this case. Why? But Bodega's trying to help you! I know, I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Ah! Uh, why not? Why don't you love us? Look, just go away and leave me alone. <laughs> he runs up. Nick! Mr. Edward did it, didn't he? Maya! Let's go investigate elsewhere. Boy, Nick, I'm sad now. It's a sad day. <laughs> just leave just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> runs out of the room. Samuel 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. I mean, nobody here is even like talking about how it's freaking Christmas. Yeah, well, except for that one person who said Merry Christmas. But like, like, what are we doing here? Like, shouldn't be off. Like, <laughs> justice has justice has no holidays. <laughs> but like, seriously, what the hell? Like, there's not even like a Christmas tree in the office. How do we celebrate uh, Christmas here in Japan? Huh? How do we do we like put an anime character? Um, like an, we get like a big anime character and that's our tree and then we hang ornaments on their boobs. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> that's a Japanese Christmas right there. Actually, I think we're supposed to be in like California in this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is, that's right, this is Americanized. <laughs> ah, we're totally in California. Look at all the, <laughs> look how all the students wear uniforms. This is where it happened. Yeah, Gordon Lake is in the middle of this park, excuse me. I think there's a police walking around in there. Quest questioning people, probably. Hey, is that Detective Gumshoe over there? Oh, fuck me. Dude, is he like the only detective in the city? <laughs> well, ha <laughs> <laughs> There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We didn't find anything. Nothing. Idiot. At trial's tomorrow. Obviously, I'm the most competent person here. I have every right to be giving you all orders. We need clues on the devil. But, but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we are. We arrested the attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. Clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. Is she trying to say that again? Oh. I'll, er, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just get out of my face, pal. <laughs> I guess he likes Edgeworth all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's a lot of crying this episode. <laughs> Did you go? She's kind of scary today. Recruits, puh. Ah. Ah! 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 <laughs> hey, you're the hairy guy, hairy butts. Dude, you know. Come on, man. I, we've like, had this conversation like 32 times. Dude, please. I'm not hairy butts. You're hairy butts. I'm not hairy butts. You're hairy butts. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? God. And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Oh, really? Bring it. <laughs> it seems different than usual. I'm what's up. Yeah, usually we have to... <laughs> we have to barely try to pry things out of him. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, y you don't say. Why didn't you tell him that? Oh, I'm sad now. Well, I know what to do. Behold, my badge. <laughs> that badge. You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to someone who needs it, pal. <laughs> you totally need it. <laughs> no, actually, this isn't my badge. This is a, this is a box of cronuts. You want one? Oh, well, in that case, yes, absolutely. Give it to me. Give me the cronut. Take a, take a gum shoot. You know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Uh, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Cloud Lawyer. Yeah. Head in the... Head in the... What? <laughs> Never mind, pal. I'll tell you. It happened last night about 15 minutes after midnight. 
There was a boat out on Gordon Lake, and that boat were two men. One of them was one of those men shot the other with a pistol. Oh, the other is a guy apparently. So that female voice was totally not <coughs> was totally not right. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. Oh dear. <laughs> perhaps I didn't perhaps I didn't shoot a girl after all. It was just a, some weird dude in my boat. <laughs> Selling me next next scarves. Copy right on the scene. Arrested him. Probably should have used a silencer on this gun. <laughs> I didn't get there so fast. Well, there was a, there was a witness. Report came in. He, we raced to the like race there. A witness. Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares about what the witness says? I like all of a sudden we're always like. We're trying so hard to defend Edgeworth. I guess, well, I don't know. I guess we sort of figure he's not really like a bad guy. I mean, he even held me the last trial, you know? I mean, he can be kind of a dick, but this guy's good size. He's a complicated, he's a complicated muffin is what he is. That's right, I said a muffin. <laughs> I care. Really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. They're always sure. Oh, he's even really taking the investigation that seriously. Oh no! <laughs> After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's been standing up to take his side. Well, well, he's kind of a dick. Let's be honest. <laughs> he's kind of a dick to everybody. At least you are, detective. At least you are. Oh, oh, look at you, defend detective Gumshoe. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case. Yeah, he's been a he's been a celebrity. <laughs> Notorious, more like it. Defended him and lost, your reputation means sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if he had to have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too! Remember the Steel Samurai? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I. <laughs> I had a heart attack there. <laughs> I know. I went, to, I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. Ah, uh, mm, ha, mm, oh, whatever here, over this side, this side, and I'll back up, up, up the ceiling again. Ah, uh, mm, ha. <laughs> I, love, I just love that look yet. <laughs> Am I thinking? I don't know. Mm. I'm checking out all the ladies on that side. Oh, look at that ass. Oh, that, oh, that ass. Oh, look at that bird up there. That's got a nice ass, too. Mm, ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh, ah. Well, well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 fuck, 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 and right, right, fuck. <laughs> okay, I don't know if, I, am I taking that as he, he fuck, he, fuck right, or he wants to fuck me? <laughs> and that he hates me, or that he wants to fuck me? <laughs> I don't know, pal. <laughs> he seems to really dig you, like, really dig you. He's got posters of you all in his house. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it, pal. <laughs> you don't get anything, do you? Not really, pal. Who was this witness? Uh, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, and anyway, the, wit the witness says this. <laughs> I'm sure they'll turn up at the, at the trial tomorrow. There's only one? That one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake last night. Can we ask who the hell the victim was? Do we know? And it was Christmas Eve, after all. So we're, be we're, be we're being thorough. <laughs> you never know when you're going to turn up another witness. And that's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty, though. Oh, it's Christmas today! I'd forgotten! Jesus, phone finally mentions it. What the hell are we even doing here? I got, I got gifts to open. What are you getting for me for Christmas, Dick? Uh... A push-up bra. And it's not for you, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Santa. Did I did I do gum sir? sir? What? You find something, you piece of shit? Oh um, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A uh, briefing? Uh huh. Hmm. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> right, I'm off. <laughs> oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before you head, head back? How to get in touch with you, the autopsy rep- oh. I guess you have any information on the victim? Sorry. 
They haven't worked it up in the, the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say so if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming, you're not coming back today? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Alright. Here, I'll show you how to how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. He gave us directions to the, the police station. Yay! Oh, hey, look, Gumshoe. Ah, uh, wow, ah, oh, what? Jesus. <laughs> um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Ah, uh, no problem, pal. You got my permission. <laughs> you know, Nick, I think there's like to be separate talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have the time to think about not giving you information. <laughs> right, well, let's get it. Best get it. Let's go. I don't have time for this. I've got freaking weirdos. I've got a jackass to save. Fair farmer? Okay. Let's go to the public. It's a public beach. Really? A beach? This is a beach of the lake. <laughs> right? Isn't that what we said? Can you have a beach in a lake? <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> I turned an inspector gadget. This is Gordon Lake. Yep. I'm not sure it warns a Wowzers, though. Go, go, gadget! Awesome! <laughs> mm, probably, probably not, but hey, look at that stack, Sam! Oh, there, that deserves a wowzers. I'm gonna give me some noodles and nuggets! <laughs> samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please! <laughs> <laughs> samurai dogs? <laughs> it's, it's a hot dog in the shape of a samurai sword! <laughs> oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever! It's the greatest adventure! Please don't give me that dog! Please! I bet they're great! They ain't like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, so. though. Oh, that's probably the witness then, right? The owner of that stand? If that's like the only thing out here. I guess they're all under the pink princess now. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be like based off the pink princess? Like, I feel like she hasn't even mentioned that. Is she not like aware of it? I mean, like, you know? Nope. <laughs> Oh, uh, Samurai Dog. Dude, now I want a freaking... Do you guys want to go get a hot dog after this? I'm, I could totally go for a hot dog. After that, we get a turkey sandwich. Hot dog, hot dog stands closed. Christmas fringe looks like a little half-baked. Then read Samurai Dogs. So it needs to redecorate. Oh, hello. Obvious thing sitting on the bench there. Oh, so we'll look forward to the... Oh, so we'll look forward to those poppers here, you know? You pull the string... And it goes pop! And it goes boom! <laughs> oh, yeah, and it goes... Ah, fuck me. <laughs> I'm getting my voices mixed up. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them around New Year's. Hey, Nick, it might be a clue. Let's take it. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? <laughs> Was it that obvious? <laughs> it is awesome. She's fun. Pop her, hmm? Uh, hmm, I'm just gonna leave it. Of course I'm gonna take it with me. What's gonna hurt? Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really matter what you were going to choose, I'm attacking it! You can't stop me! A classic party noisemaker. Pull a string and goes bang. <laughs> no, it doesn't! It goes pop! <laughs> Not very clue-worthy, but we're taking it anyway. What about this thing? Trash can is empty. This place is well-maintained. Uh, what about this sign here? Huh. I almost didn't see the signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Can I go to the boat docks? Is that possible? Wow! Gordon Lake is really big! Yeah. See, Nick, why is it called Gordon Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. What? No way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that is just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Wait, you grow a gourd? Wait, I, I know a gourd is like a, it's like a thing you drink out of, right? Like, you store water in? What, I guess, was that like a plant or something? Was that originally? Hmm. I'm gonna have to check Wikipedia when I'm done with this to figure that out. Maybe one of you guys knows. Uh, okay. Can I go to the boat docks? Oh, I can't. Good. Oh, and I can go to the lake. I can go to the lake once! Hey, this is where Slenderman is. But it's daytime, so it's not as scary. <laughs> He'll just walk up, he's just standing there, smoking a cigarette. Yeah, come back at night time. This, uh, this isn't a good time for me, you know. The sun is really, really harsh my skin. I need to wear, like, SPF 80 uh, sunscreen. <laughs> Bummer, dude. I know, right? 
All right, back to the rental shop. Nick, what is this place? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at the, um, maybe that giant big bald sign behind you will tell us. <laughs> it's a boat rental shop. Close for Christmas, it seems. We some emerging places on the boat. We're, we'll be good for business either. Boats? I never read on a boat. Really? How about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea! You bet! Don't kill me, though! <laughs> no guarantees! <laughs> oh, Phoenix! <laughs> Joke's on you! <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry! Small boat rail shop. No way anyone's around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Uh, okay, anything. Check out one of the boats here? The bus flagged it up. Where was the bus in the bus, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go on a boat ride. Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. I got guts camping in the scene of a murder. Hey, 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 Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Dude, nice car, dude. Hello. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. That's what I'd say. So this is no camping. <laughs> and the sign on this car says, fuck you. <laughs> fuck signs. Funny place to pick a pit picture tent. Wait, what if the signs say no city tents on fire? <laughs> I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. <laughs> That'd be an oddly specific sign. Where's the person? Hey, Nick! Well, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no, puppy fish! I'm just wondering, what? Why can't we pass some pants made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the love books. <laughs> uh. To get it hot, right? What? what? There's no law saying that you have to be made out of aluminum, then? I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> what? What are we talking about right now? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It's pretty tough skin to get everything cool. And now we're blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm sorry, I know I've been yawning a lot in my videos, and it's because I end up recording rather late in the evening, so if you guys are wondering why I yawn sometimes pretty often. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm trying not to, but god damn it. This really does skin to blah, blah, blah. Alright, what about over here? It's a nice camera. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. Let's take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! Cough! <laughs> Oh, here, I'm gonna do your, your Nick. Hi, I'm Nick. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying it loud enough. <laughs> Hi, hey, I'm Nick. Huh? Nick. <laughs> we, we, we stop that. It says nothing like me. <laughs> Maybe it's broken? D don't, don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Puffy first, I don't like that. What then? I know. The party popper? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's meant to respond to a gunshot. Ooh, meaning so someone was expecting that shit to happen, right? I mean, come on, what other reason would they? <laughs> I randomly decided to come out here on the lake and make a, put a camera up and have it respond only. <laughs> make sure it takes a picture right when there's a gunfire shot. Yep, it responded. Okay. Yeah! Oh god, what are you, who are you? Oh my god. Hey, hey, you! Get your hands off of that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this is the perfect Sheena voice. I know how I use this voice already on that little kid. I was trying to make the little kid start sound gangster, but god dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use this voice again, alright? This time it actually is probably more appropriate anyway. What in the same freaking hell? What the doodle nuggets? Look at what you doing now! Here's the whole world film! Oh, what the freaking food and fudge nuggets? I'm gonna smack you right in your little weird headed shape. Samurai looking. Sorry, it's not. We don't pay my bills. I told him that message just got skipped. Y'all know how much a roll for that film costs? More than your life. I'll pay you back. Who y'all think sitting up a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, I mean. What? What? 
Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Well, how the freaking ding dong doodly doo da day? I do not. I, I, <laughs> well, I don't understand. Yeah, I know who y'all you, you yanks think. <laughs> Wait, I wonder. This is this game was originally Japanese. I wonder what it was originally. Do they have like? I guess they. Do they? I guess they. Do they have rednecks in Japan? In Japan? <laughs> I see those southern folks all with an exaggerated draw. Why that must? Why they must be dumb? Well, let me tell you. That's because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. Mermaid Swamp! <laughs> why is it? Why is there always a mermaid swamp involved in when I use a this voice's character? Look at that! That's a mermaid swamp behind me if I ever saw one! I don't know, I think it's a lake actually. It's a mermaid swamp! <laughs> Nick, help! I'm scared! Who are you now? Who's Chaperon? Yeah, uh, no, uh, maybe. Rather, uh, we're sort of friends. We figure out what you all are and. Gonna, all gonna say it, say it for, for, for Jesus bump sake! <laughs> for, <laughs> for Jesus! God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa Draws and listen to you stutter all day, big dude. I, big... Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I guess we should pay for that film. Watch it, you little fucker! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry! I failed you! <laughs> So mad. Look at her. <laughs> um. What? Can you see I've changed the film on my camera? So when I'm not naming any names, someone used the whole room. I wonder who could possibly be. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm dead inside. That didn't work. Wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Oh, how about my freaking I am. Behold, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I heard this is my badge. Huh? Aren't you badges to be all shy and impressive? You copy some? That looks like a freaking lot. Little cronut or something. <laughs> See, I told you it looked like a cronut. <laughs> it doesn't look like a It does look like a cronut. <laughs> it looks delicious, I that's all I'm saying. Um I'm, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them loyal lawsuits on me uh, over that film now. What the freak? Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I rest a mean looking thing than you. No, that's not it at all. We're investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Murder? Hmm. Hmm. Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Why, who? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too, you can all. Y'all can come out hiding now. I won't bite hard. I'm gonna think of where my get. <laughs> She's hiding in the bushes or something. Sorry! <laughs> oh, oh, you scared Maya away. Look at her, she's so sad. Oh. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture capital. <laughs> Never you, my honey. I can talk yank for you if you. You hear oh, I mean, if it pleases you. Thanks! I'm a yank, apparently. I don't know what that is. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm a, I'm a lot of, lot of heart. <laughs> Aha! You see what I did there? Y'all can call me Lada, cause that's my first cause that, that is my name. I'm here photographing meteor shafts for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Mighty pleased to meet you. Okay, Jesus. Oh yeah, what was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. Haven't late on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve? Man, the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. Boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure though. I'm sure I didn't see a good mermaid though. This is a mermaid swamp. It's not a mermaid. It is a mermaid swamp. Y'all got mermaid. I've been watching this here lake for a good time, good three days now. I seen a boat choke a mule. <laughs> got hard to remember which which I seen when, which when why I which when see I do die be by liberty. I, I don't understand you at all. So what do you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Ha ha! Y'all don't really know what I want to know that do you? I kill people, motherfucker. <laughs> so don't fuck with me. Actually, I'm a research student in the country. You, right in the heart of the heartland. Well, that's, that's neat. Next is a research student in the university. Country, you. Uh, so I hear. <laughs> so, when did you come up here? <laughs> oh, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you, what are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? <laughs> oh, yeah, she did. Meteors! Yep, meteor shout! Falling stars. Why is it responding to gunfire then? 
Why can't we have there? Y'all, y'all better know it. It's your mate, genuine Silent Geek. Isn't that the where they make? Isn't that where they make knives? It can also kill people. Hell ye. <laughs> um. So what's that advice you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Vice. Start moving all over by itself and I fire my party bumper. Oh, that, that triggers a shutter whenever it detects a certain sound. It probably pick up loud noise right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Whoa! This is the 90s, this is really impressive! Loudest camera. Dun dun dun. Cool, okay, uh. Is it automatic take picture when a loud noise detected? Face the light. Uh, okay, is that it or. Can I do something else? There's a microphone here. No clues here. Nope. No clues here or there or anywhere. Clues there, clues here, clues, clues anywhere. Is it like presenter or something? Lada? Yeah! So your camera, it triggers one loud on loud explosion noises? Oh, uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. Pistol? Right, uh, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright! <laughs> huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look at my film. We were a photo taken last, late last night. I'm sorry, but does a freaking meteor make, like, a falling a meteor gonna make a sound? I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I, I imagine they're far enough away unless it, like, lands in your vicinity or something. It views you with superhuman strength. I checked the bullets. Didn't remember, don't remember if I, there was anything on them, though. What if I... What if I got something? I could be wizard with Jenny Murder. Yee, yeah, freaking doodle haul. I'm gonna go check that film. Y'all come back now, yee. Yeah. Alright, I guess I did have to present her. What? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. That or she's burning evidence. I guess you did it come. She was still in that meeting. Son of a bitch. Hey! Oh, thanks for coming down, pal! Ah! <laughs> did come, you! Mm. We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. <laughs> we are totally bound. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still, still can't ID him. Did Mr. Edwards said anything? Not a word. Great. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. Uh, that's true. You know, I don't know whether to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards was human like you or me. Still, I get a feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hi hi go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. I can't anyone else see that. Ah! <laughs> so they think Mr. Edward did it? Well, the trial is starting tomorrow, it's scheduled. I see. Man, they get red on this shit, does it? Yeah. Man, like, we like have not, honey, we have nothing else to do, apparently, because, like, <laughs> usually, it's, they don't usually trials take, like, weeks before they start. We're fat, we're, we jump jumping out on this shit, don't we? Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. No, I'm not telling anyone else, pal. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> and do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edward. He needs help, and you're all the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. I love you. Detective Gumshoe, how can you trust Mr. Edward so much? Well, I think I, I think that was obvious. He got a str he's got we got a strong working relationship, us two. <laughs> he hates my guts. <laughs> That's true. I really do hate his guts. I trust another, and that's how it works. Actually, I don't trust you at all. The most incompetent human being I've ever met. See what I mean? He just loves me, pal. What your relationship? See, Mr. Edward always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get him, get the right man. And that's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn, we gotta earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edward is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. All right, give me the fucking autopsy report. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made I made a cab for you. Oh, hot dog. Thank you. Yeah. Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Whoa. 
Hello there. I am... I am, uh... Fabio. <laughs> Do you like my glowing, glowing locks? Oh, yes. The... That face! So when you know. I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Huh. Let's check that autopsy report, what you say. Time of death. Cause on 20... Sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause one bullet shot to the heart. Wow, that's some autopsy report. <laughs> Back to the law offices. Oh, yep, here we go. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just things been bothering me. Could you show me the autopsy report once more? Hey! I remember now! This guy! This is a lawyer that was at the office me worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. Wait, you worked... Uh, uh, is that, I guess, another law office before she came here? That office? Wait! You mean Grossberg's office? <laughs> oh, yes, me, the Monopoly man. Right, that guy! Damn you, Grossberg. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Our favorite person in the world, Grossberg! I still mean, he never got his, he never got his painting back, really? That guy's in jail, can you go get it back now? It's been a while since I was here, la here last. It's gross workers as usual. Hey Nick, look at the wall! That <laughs> painting is still missing. No, me must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg and Red White. She kept track of all of White White's extortions and blackmail rackets. Look at that thing. Was that thing here before? He's been looking at mahogany bookshelves. Oh, yeah, it was. He, that's right. You didn't look at the freaking giant warthog thing that's up there. Let's take them back to our office. We won't miss them. <laughs> uh, we don't need them. Then we can take that wooden... <laughs> can we take the wooden bear? Oh, it's a bear? Oh, I thought it was like a warthog. Can we take... Hmm, it was kind of cute. <laughs> yes, all right. Come on, bear. I'm gonna call you Mr. Bear. It's a mahogany desk. Mahogany. Hey, Nate, it's got one desk like that in our office. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to sit at a desk like that yet. Huh? I'm in for me! <laughs> Screw you! On my own desk! You better start saving your allowance, then. I'm gonna get a desk! Why is the wall there a different color? The big painting was sitting there until recently. Oh, what happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I think it's some, some romantic interest. Love blooms the turtleneck! <laughs> 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 That's what I thought at first, too. <laughs> his his gay lover. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wandering around, hopefully something will fucking happen. Doodle doo doo. Oh, here we go. I say, figure out where to go in this game when the little green letters pop up. Hey, y'all! Lana! We have sick, we got, we got bingo! Bingo! <laughs> Mom, my camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them. Take a look. Ooh. Wait. See, see? He's shooting him with that pistol. Bam! Ah, I did! <laughs> Looks like that, yes. But can't really tell who it is that shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out of there last night to, to strangle a brain bullfrog. <laughs> but you know. Seen those photos about me some What? I saw that I saw that I saw the murder happen! I'm a witness! <laughs> what? Are you fucking bananas? Seriously? Of course! How do you forget? Never mind. <laughs> you already not steal the cops? <laughs> I reckon so. I reckon so! What's that? Don't you all go trying to mock my accent? <laughs> I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Later. Wait, wait, Lana. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw, too, please. I sorry, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner, sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than he tell you. Lana, please. I love you, please. Don't let you get, get your shivs, your skivvies in a bunch. What the hell is that, friend? Friends today, enemies tomorrow. I'll bite your head off in court. Or is that the other way around? No matter, I'm going. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some test fire. I'm down doodly. She left. I'm sad. 
Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. Question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in trial tomorrow. You know, assuming he lets us represent him. Oh, is somebody at the hot dog stand now? I'm saying please are giving up their questioning. Hey, somebody new, I think. Oh my god, it's... Ah! Oh, 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 it's me, Xander! Santa! Oh my god, look at Santa, Nick! <laughs> oh my god. Why is he carrying a bottle of scotch with him in a shopping cart? Oh, 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 give me some change! Oh, oh, oh! Give me some change, bitch. <laughs> Nick, I think Santa's mad at you! <laughs> uh, no, Santa! You've been on the naughty list, Nick. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to kick you in the balls. No, not my balls. No! Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Mary! <laughs> what are you doing here? Why are you not sobbing? Is it obvious? I'm working my day job. Well, I still say Brad Hogs. You want one, dude? Gotta got get money for dates, you know? My girl, Keyonce, deserves the best. Ke Keyonce? <laughs> Keyonce, not another bottle, I hope. <laughs> yeah, hopefully she doesn't end up dead and end up framing me for murder, because that would suck, dude. Oh, Keyonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. Was her idea that I wear this costume? She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. <laughs> she brought this costume for me. That... That's great, Larry. Larry Butts. Wow, a Santa costume! She must be really nice! <laughs> wow, cute dude! <gasps> Nick, who's she? She's not your. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> not my what? No, 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 she's not. I'm his partner, my Faye! I'm the, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick must be. Wow, Nick must be tough. We're going 9 to 5 having to take care of little sister. <laughs> no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older, I'm my older sister's little sister. <laughs> huh? That sounds great. Wow, you couldn't be any more specific than that. <laughs> don't worry about it. He's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore, dude. What happened? Tell me, Larry. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. It was with Keyonce, obviously. Few women staying out here in the cold. Oh, God. Eh? Huh? I think we just caught him off guard now, uh. No, it's just, uh, Keyonce's not in town right now. I don't know, she says she's off working with her yoga trainer. <laughs> and they're working really hard, working out her calves real hard. Really, really hard, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she's, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot, I mean. A bottle, I knew it. Well, anyway, there's a murder on the lake. Trials tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Finish Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth? Old Andy Bear? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Oh, uh, what the hell? Do they all know each other or something? Whoa, dude, murder! Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. <laughs> Holy shit, we all know each other, dude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's fucking bananas. Give me a samurai dog. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Uh, oh, you mean samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? Tell me. I mean, they kind of look, kind of look gourd shaped. Mm. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like gourd dogs. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> The samurai thing was the guy has his idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. <laughs> so I'll change the name and you go, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know why she keeps calling me girlfriend, because I'm a dude. <laughs> I've been real, I'll show you. <laughs> no, don't put it away. She made me that better. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? I don't know. Oh, and guess what, dude? We're gonna get a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? Big news? <laughs> yeah, Gordy. Gordy? <laughs> or that 
Tell me. So does Jared Rule lose your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick Kim and I used to hang out all the time. Well, I never knew. <laughs> did he wear an X scarf back then? Oh yeah, he did, dude. No way. How'd you know? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. He's always been caught up in stick in the mud. Studying all the time. Trying to be like... Trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah. Hedges Pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Uh... Wait a second! But Mr. Edward is a prosecuting attorney! And he's the total opposite! What? I just, I just got a proboscis on his name? <laughs> no, he's a prosecuting attorney! <laughs> I can't understand you, dude. I was like the total opposite of a defense lawyer! Huh. Go figure. I don't know what's going on, dude. You always used to talk about it defending the week for those who were unable to defend themselves. Man used to go on and on about defense duty to society and all that. Oh, what a boy. Ugh. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Nick? <laughs> I do know, but I'm not saying. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in the Sphere Lake. It's a mysterious monster. Gordy! Uh, a monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is in the article from yesterday. It's his newspaper. There's a photo. Look at it, dude. Wow, it's really real! Oh, look at that! <gasps> Nick, it's a monster! A real monster! Dude, it looks like a little elephant stuck down there and he's sticking his down up there like... <laughs> like, hey! Help! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that is totally photoshopped. I don't care what you say. Um, yeah! It's probably just a log or something. Right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. What's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when it got into frame, the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of someone slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it! <laughs> Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem, dude. That'll be, that'll be one million dollars. One million? I don't have that! <laughs> Grow up, Larry. Fuck you. I'm taking this thing. You can't stop me. No, dude. I, I need that, though. <laughs> Fuck you. I take what I want, Larry. You can't stop me. Get out of my way, you fix Anna. How cool about a monster side of the uh, side of the Gord Lake? Touch okay. Hey, look at that picture. Oh. He's hanging out in the back. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm having a seizure, help me please. Oh, uh, that old familiar clearing the throat. Aha, uh -huh, you're Mia, you're Mia something, are you not? I'm Sir Understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Aha, uh -huh, and you are your Mia something too, are you not? Our little sister, yes, didn't I used to work here or something too? You've grown, I think. Maybe. Actually, no, you never mind. I think you've actually gotten shorter. Come, come look a lot like your sister, you know? Except in the boobage area. It takes me back. Oh, the days of my youth. But like the scent of a fresh lemon. Oh, I just love to motorbite the shit out of that lemon. Uh, Mr. Grisberg's there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to test us something. What is it, then? Something the matter? I don't know, you be fucking useful this time. What happened? Tell me. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see? Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who? <laughs> well, the idea of the victim is still unknown. Uh, this is terrible. Uh, terrible news indeed. So he hadn't heard anything. Oh dear. How 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 am I? Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh yes. I do not think she'll ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it is stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Oh, bitter desserts. Ah, uh, poor, de poor bitter desserts. Uh, oh, probably represent this to him. Huh, strange. Feels I've seen this man somewhere before. Do you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? Mm, it's making me hungry for some ham. 
And you say that this man, this man, this is the man Mal Edwards shot. Holy balls, holy balls. Okay, tell me about, tell me about this guy. Who's this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney at the, in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. Oh! DL6, why does it sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. Sure someone mentioned it during that trial for Mia's murder. That was the in incident where the police were so, so at a loss that they used the spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. That's very medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contact the spirit of the victim. But the case was a was a loss. No conviction may was made. Again with the D L six again. The L six incident, yes. Happened fifteen years ago. A very strange case indeed. Never caught the never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Mr. Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to the charges of being laid against one man. Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Uh, please blame my mother calling her a fraud. You're the one who helped her out, right, right, then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite, of course. Mm, yes. Thank you! Uh, no, please, uh, d don't mention it. Deal six. You thought I'd hear that name again. But what? What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? Uh, oh, my lord. Oh, my god, what's happening? What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Oh, this is the picture of the other picture the, the, we found on the desk. We were, we were, like, looking for the picture of some guy, and... Uh, for uh, uh, for uh, May or whatever. Wait, this is a photo photograph of my mother. Oh, okay. Oh, look at him. Get out of here, Edgeworth. Did Santa make this round? What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what are you? What about your defense? Huh? It's no con it's no concern of yours. Cause he hasn't found anyone yet. Huh. Edgeworth. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. You've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Through, don't you? But the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refuse your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you were, weren't up to the job. <laughs> Dude, look, look at this express. I've never seen. <laughs> I'm pulling a bit of a gumshoe now. Uh, over here. What about this thing? Up, up, up here again. Up, up, down the corner. <laughs> Sorry if I. Do you apologize to me? What the hell's? What the hell is? Alternate universe is this? <laughs> said I went up to the job. <laughs> Dude, you did tell me that. I just want to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would be? Would it? Would it? Would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but. I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Oh, good. Here we go. DL6. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Oh, snap. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. Ah! My memories from th that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the one who, he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the court of Lake Murder. Correct. I see, so he, he does have, it would have a a uh you'd have a reason to you know, uh, a motive to kill him here in this case, yeah. Like, you know, you'd have Defended the guy that killed my father, or uh, uh, you prevented the guy, uh, the, the guy who killed my father from getting convicted. Um, a spirit medium. How's my mom? <laughs> what do you mean your? Holy balls! This shit's all coming together now. It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now. About to end. The D the DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 
Fifteen years ago, on December 28th... December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. Holy balls, really? What... <laughs> what horrible timing. What? What? I'm not... What does that mean? The case statute of limitations run out. Legally, the case... That, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. Dude, this is like a to totally different side to Edgeworth. I did not expect to see. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. Consider the same way you go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a, after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory, Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. You said you answered my questions. Don't you lie to me, Edgeworth. Okay, let's turn like the lake photo. Huh. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. Wait, so why does he have a gun in his hand there? It pains me to ask you this now. I know you wasn't to defend you! Yes, will you? Uh, of course we will! <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta say it, I'm sorry. Sorry, Charlie, no way! Right. Nick! Hey, don't look so serious, guys! I was kidding! Ah, uh, everybody left for the funny joke. Ah uh ha! -huh. Just a little joke. Ah, uh, puffy face! <laughs> there was nothing little. Or don't joke like about it! I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I'm sad. <laughs> Nick, do it over! <laughs> yes, Your Honor. How could I refuse you, Edgeworth? Thank you, right? <laughs> it's my chance to finally pay you back. Pay me back! <laughs> Even he doesn't know it. Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to the Detective Gumshoe. Sweet. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we should. Huh? What's that? Earthquake! Yeah! It's a big one! Wow! It's, it's coming, dude! Oh! Oh, that was scary! What? what the hell was that? Is that plot related? Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a, in a ball shiver! Wow! Edgeworth doesn't like earthquakes. Uh, I'm not in a ball shivering, I'm just. This is. This is. Didn't they teach you this is school? Hide under your desk and. Cry like a little girl. <laughs> I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? <laughs> well, I guess we're done. Bye bye, Mr. Edward. <laughs> My brother doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I died a little inside just now. Let's go, Nick. Alright. Uh, we had to give Edward's letter and request to take him to Alright, see you later, pussy. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. <laughs> Oh dear. I believe I just peed myself. Oh, what's going on here? What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she's come to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What well, this is all about, pal? A lot of heart. Damn her. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edward the distance, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Er, of course you can. I do it all the time. I mean, what? You're trying to say, try to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Do do do. Gonna get you my freaking Edgeworth request. What but I got? Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to fill out those for papers. I'll, I'll work them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Uh, hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while, while back. 
I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I li I've been out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. <laughs> oh, I wasn't worried about you two. <laughs> I was worried about Mr. Edworth. All right. You do seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check up on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's file. <laughs> See you later. So he knows something. I guess Edward doesn't like... Already, I, he's some... Uh, phobia of earthquakes? I wonder if Mr. Edward at earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was, uh, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. Transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. I guess we'll find out next time. Oh, oh this is a, this is a cool case though. This is interesting. I like how we're focusing on Edgeworth now. Finally, we need to understand shit about Edgeworth. I like how Edgeworth isn't like a total douchebag. He's not like Tagami and Mushurige, which have like almost no redeeming qualities at all. You know. It's like, <laughs> that's, uh, that's nice. I like I like it when, like, you know, it's like I don't mind if the person can be, like, a jerk sometimes, but then, like, ends up being a nice guy. You know, that's, I like it when that happens. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and here for now. Like for your interest video, subscribe now to help more the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the fits are always funny. Again, Merry Christmas, Happy happy Hanukkah, and Happy Kwanzaa. Merry Kwanzaa, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys had a, had a good Holiday and got all the cool gifts that you know you uh, that you wanted, and uh, I'm hoping I get my microphone fixed or get a new one or something sometime soon. Um, you know, I just I really I really want I was really so bummed that it doesn't work, but oh well. Anyway, till next time, guys, stay classy.